Good morning. Uh, an interesting new paper just published in the European Journal of Nutrition by the scientists, researchers of the Department of Nutrition of Harvard um, School of Public Health. So in this um, epidemiological study, a, a prospective nested case control study, including 772 healthy women, they measured L-carnitine in blood, in plasma, twice. Once in uh, 1989-90s, and then a second time in 2002. Why L-carnitine? Because several studies have shown that L-carnitine that is very abundant in uh, animal source, animal, animal foods, in particularly red meat, uh, is a risk factor for uh, coronary heart disease. Uh, the mechanism uh, probably, be, probably is mediated through the gut microbiome, uh, transformation of L-carnitine and choline into uh, TMO, that is a powerful risk factor for cardiovascular disease in animals and humans. Now, this epidemiological study reinforces this data and uh, again shows, suggests, because it's, it's an epidemiological study, so let's use the correct words, if it's epidemiological, is suggests. If, it's, if, it, if, it, if it is a randomized clinical trial, then you can use the word shows or indicate or demonstrates. Now, so in this study, as you can see here, a greater increase in L carnitine uh, uh, from the first to the second time point was associated with a 36% higher risk of developing, developing coronary heart disease. Now, they also found that the 10-year change in L-carnitine concentration in plasma was positively associated with red meat consumption over time, meaning that the higher the red meat consumption, the higher the concentration of L-carnitine in the circulation. And women with higher red meat intake defined as uh, equal or higher than 36 gram per day, and with greater increase in L-carnitine, had, had a 86% higher risk of developing coronary heart disease than those with lower red meat intake and lesser increase in L-carnitine. So very interesting study uh, that, again, reinforces the concept that the consumption of red meat uh, shouldn't be a staple of our of uh, uh, of the diet of people who are uh, hoping to live a long uh, and healthy life, free of cor coronary heart disease and and and, and probably cancer, and uh, and uh, uh, as the new uh, American Heart Association guidelines suggests the source of protein uh, should be mainly whole grains, nuts, and uh, fish, low-fat dairy, uh, and, uh, and meat is not required in this equation. Thank you for listening, as always. Uh, thank you.